what's happening. So it's the international break. It's about what, three days into the international break and the boredom, boredom starting to creep in naturally. Now, Tuesday saw the fourth anniversary of Klopp as Liverpool manager. So that was a day filled with basically the best moments of Jürgen Klopp's Liverpool career. Splendid, that killed the day. We've reached Wednesday. And this is where cabin fever really starts to hit fever pitch because, you know, there's actually not even international games. If you're bothered about international games, they haven't really got underway yet. All you're doing is missing football. You think, and what am I going to fill that massive, dark, gaping void in my life with? And then, oh my God, good God almighty, Colleen Rooney from out of nowhere just drops in tweet of the century because as it transpires, uh, the, the pocket size Scouse superstar has basically launched some sort of Colombo style CSI crocky um, sting operation to catch out someone who's been leaking things from a private Instagram account. And um, here's what she's had to say. Uh, this has been a burden in my life for a few years now and finally I've got to the bottom of it. For a few years now, someone who I trusted to follow me on my personal Instagram account has been consistently informing the Sun newspaper in my private posts and stories. There's been so much information given to them about me, my friends and my family, all without my permission or knowledge. After a long time of trying to figure out who it could be for various reasons, I had a suspicion to try and prove this. I came up with an idea and this is where it gets Genuinely amazing. I blocked everyone from viewing my Instagram stories except one account. Those on my private account must have been wondering why I haven't had stories on there for a while. Over the past five months, I've posted a series of false stories to see if they made their way into the Sun newspaper. And you know what? They did. Oh, they did. <laughs> The story about gender selection in Mexico, the story about returning to TV, and then the latest story about the basement flooding in my new house. It's been tough keeping it to myself and not making any comments at all, especially when the stories have been leaked. However, I had to. Now I know for certain which account slash individual it's come from. I have saved and screenshotted all the original stories, which clearly show just one person has viewed them. Dun dun dun! It's Rebecca Vardy's account. Oh, <laughs> oh my days! Oh my goody aunt! You couldn't write it better. There are there are films and television shows that have multi-million pound budgets. They're being scripted that people are paying to go and see. This is on a free platform, ladies and gentlemen. Twitter is still free to use. And I think it's a genuinely horrendous platform full of massive knobheads with terrible opinions. And then every now and again, Colly Rooney et al. from out of nowhere drops a bomb like that. Amazing. The, the Wagatha Christie <laughs> has been trending off the back of this. Exceptional, absolutely exceptional. Look, for the sake of completeness, Rebecca Vardy's replied, and I, you know, the immediate thing, what are you going to do? How do you respond to this incident? Because look, we've all seen the true Geordie stuff recently. When you see a good scandal, what do you do? Do you let it breathe and let everyone kind of get over the immediate hysteria of it and then you kind of do a reaction to it a little bit down the line? In the space of like an hour, not a chance. Rebecca Vardy, not a chance. She's going to let that lie. A response came out, um, and if you had to guess, if you had to put money on it, what would the response be? Would it be a step up, take it on the chin? You know, would it be a go really aggressive on it? Would it be like look for truth or justice in the and the and the and the, the Leicester way or whatever? Um, or do you take the Jolie and Lescott approach and blame someone who works for you or your mate? Yeah, she's gone for that. So she's replied, <laughs> as I have just said to you on the phone, I wish you called me if you thought this. I don't know. I don't know if that's a voice. Uh, I never speak to anyone about you. As various journalists have asked me to over the years can vouch for, if you thought this was happening, you should have told me and I could have changed my passwords to see if it stopped. Yep, she's gone straight for the account hacked approach. Brilliant. Textbook. Textbook approach. Over the years, various people have had access to my Insta, and just this week I found I was following people I didn't know, and have never followed myself. I'm not being funny, I don't need the money. What would I gain from selling stories on you? I liked you a lot, Colleen. 
and I'm so upset you've chosen to do this, especially when I'm heavily pregnant. I'm disgusted. I'm even having to deny this. You should have called me the first time this happened. Um, yeah, probably. <laughs> Probably, but it would have denied us this absolute social media goal, Rebecca. Have you even stopped to consider that for a second? That if Colleen had just approached you like a normal human being over this, or perhaps if you or your friends had not been selling stories to the worst, and in air quotes, newspaper in the history of humanity, uh, this wouldn't have been an issue at all. The simple solutions to these problems, isn't there? But at least we can all be glad that given no one's taken a normal human re uh, response to this, it has at least given us a day's worth of amusement, insight and hilarity to the frankly balmy world of footballers' wives and girlfriends. And look, I think the most important thing to come out of this is that Colleen Rooney, despite the fact that she's married to Wayne Rooney, you know, serial blue and all kinds of other things, um, it's just an absolutely incredible, incredible scouse beard. And look, the, the world is listed with them. The city of Liverpool is listed, listed with them. Ten a penny, brilliant women in the city of Liverpool. We're seeing them all over, all over the world. We're seeing the Scouse women dominating athletics. We're seeing Scouse women dominating the serials and TV and, and movies. Brilliant. And now we're seeing Cully Rooney putting herself right back on the perch as the toppest of top Scouse beards by doing a kind of sting that basically would make Robert Redford jizz in his pants. Um, incredible. Genuinely, it's been put out there. We should just let the biggest issues facing this country right now should be handled by Scouse women, as far as I'm concerned. And because they're just the best. They're just the best. So they don't take shit from anybody. They will not be bullied. They will not be backed into a corner. And they're not afraid to come out swinging when they have to. Absolutely incredible. And look, you know, look, I, I, I wasn't raised by a, a, scout, a Scouse woman. Uh, my mum's my mom's from, the, from the northeast. My wife's from the, my wife's from the Midlands. But my sister's a Scouse bird and my daughter's a Scouse bird. And they are fierce as fucking long may it continue. Um, so, yeah, amazing. Look, I, I, I get it. I, I'm not going to die into the, the, the depths and details of this because maybe it wasn't maybe it wasn't Rebecca Bardi maybe some one of her mates has just seen this as an opportunity to make some dough and they've got access to an Instagram account it's possible you know people have people managing their Instagram accounts it's those kind of I get it you know footballers have got these excuses they've got people at their agents they've got people who do this kind of stuff but um don't let the truth get in the way of a good story is all I'll say Rebecca um and all the best look I get she's pregnant and all that but it feels Pregnancy card. It, I mean, I get it. You, you, you're heavily pregnant, but if you're a knobhead, you're a knobhead, whether you're pregnant or not. Um, I don't know. She always seems sound to me. To be, I quite like that. And I'm a celebrity, and she came out and slagged off loads of people who um, who had to go at Liverpool in the build-up to the Champions League final. So, you know what? She's gone down a million stories in my estimation. Who knew I'd be facing the world where I'd be backing the wife of Wayne Rooney? Um, but it's led to loads of things. Like I, I, people saying, "How true is it that Wayne Rooney's actually moving to Derby County?" Is that another fake story? No one knows anymore. It's blown a lot of people's belief systems wide open. Um, but yeah, thank you very much to Colleen Rooney for this. This. Just long, so I mean, imagine having the time and the thought process to work this out. It, it's a, it's the levels of Machiavellian genius that have gone behind this. I think deserve applauding. So, so Colleen Mooney, tick a boo, tick a boo, girl. Wonderful play. What a hit. What a Twitter hit. Um, yeah, great. I enjoyed it. If you did, if you've got any hot takes on it, let me know in the comments below. This is made by absolute day. And if it has for you as well. Uh, look, uh, it's not normally my normal remit, but you know what? It's, 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 it's super bay, slightly linked to, to football. Um, subscribe to the channel. I like varying things up every now and again. It's not all Liverpool chat and, uh, and vlogs. I do have thoughts and opinions on other things and this has been an absolute belter this week. Uh, thanks very much for, for watching, for listening. Uh, if you want these things in, in audio form, make sure you head over. I'm on Spotify now as well. It's Mage Podcast. Uh, there'll be some exclusive stuff coming on there in the meantime. But yes, get on with all this stuff. Subscribe as we get close to 100,000 subscribers and uh, I'll see you all very, very soon. Ta-da. Go on, Colleen. <laughs>